Hello there, and welcome to The Princess and the Queen, Episode 6, House of the Dragon. Joining me as always, the Sith Hawkra Naomi. We're in an echoey room again. Woo! <laughs> but you said there's less echo. But I also don't have headphones, yeah, so it's, it's hard to tell. It's fine, it's fine. Audio fidelity is hard to judge when you don't have headphones. See, not for me, because I never use headphones. Yeah, because you're a fucking pleb. Nah, because I respect my eardrums. That's the opposite of respecting eardrums, but whatever. It is I, Go Jedi off, Holocron. Tyler, we are back, House of the Dragon, ten years later. It's been ten years since our last review. Yeah. Feels like it right now. Yeah. Naomi, what did you think of this episode? I'm still sad. Sad? Mm-hmm. About Joffrey? No, just about Alicent and, and Renera not getting along. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get over that ever. That's fair. We'll, we'll be on season four and I'll still be sad. <laughs> It'll be the final season. And be like, Damn. Damn. That's what it's going to be. It's gonna be. It is sad. And I don't. we watched the trailer for the next episode to the end. Shit's going down between them two next episode. Yeah. And I'm excited. I mean, I'm scared. I have to say, I enjoyed this episode. But this episode is going to be the first review where I'm very critical of the show. Okay. Because I am struggling with this show right now. This episode made me struggle with it. Because the tenure... Or maybe it's just because I'm very overwhelmed by the time jump. Mm -hmm. But I'm struggling... The problem with this show is it doesn't have a Jon Snow. <laughs> There's no one I can fully put my heart into. I feel like without... Yeah. I don't know. Like, I like Renera and I like Allison, but they're both, like, going to war with each other. Like, yeah. There's, like, there's no person where you feel like I'm with them 100%. Yeah, there's no, there's no Stark. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no, like, just completely good person. Because, like... I like Rhaenyra. I do. I love Rhaenyra. But, like, I don't know. Maybe she felt, like, far away in this episode because it's been ten years and we didn't get a lot of her. But, like, I feel like she's making some weird choices. I fucking hated the marriage proposal. I'm like, this isn't you. What are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you doing this? I, she's trying to play the game still, and I'm like, it's been ten years. So, like, what are you doing? Why are you still playing the game? It's like Allison said. She's desperate. Yeah. And in Allison's case, I have a lot of empathy for Allison because she's gone through it. She's gone through it and she's got pushed to a point where I'm glad she's become more like herself and more like unafraid of the king and like come into her own in the in the in the kingdom. But mm -hmm. like she got fucked over by everyone. Yeah. By every single person. And she keeps getting dragged into things. And I feel like she's going to break. Oh, absolutely. Because, like, her father pushed her to the marriage, and then that happened. And now fucking Laris, whatever the fuck his name is, yeah. is, like, killed people without, like, for her without her telling her to do. And I'm like. Yeah, she's really getting uh, fucked over. Yeah. By everyone. Because now he can just blackmail her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad for Allison. Still. <laughs> but it and but it's also like on the same hand, like clearly Aegon does not want to be king. Yeah. Oop. All the PC just fans cranked up. <laughs> they can definitely hear it. Oh yeah, they can definitely hear that. My computer was set to gamer mode. My apologies. Wow. I was playing video games You're earlier. You're a gamer? Yeah. Why don't we have any good Game of Thrones video games? I want a fucking Game of Thrones fighting game. That would be fire. No, but like... Um, I just want to beat Sir Chris and Cole in that game. <laughs> but like, you know, like Aegon doesn't really want to be king. Yeah. So, uh, and, and I and I get that. No, absolutely. But like, so why is there still like a conflict? All right, just let just let just let fucking. I don't think just let Otto be king. He wants it so bad. And he thinks he can protect <laughs> the realm. Like, 
Well, it's also like I get you know Otto put it in her head that Renera is gonna like fucking kill her kids. Yeah. Like because they could challenge the throne, but like she's not wrong though. Like her succeeding to like like her like it was just what well, it was like that in Game of Thrones where like you just existing is a problem. Like that was Daenerys' whole thing. Yeah. Like absolutely, but like I don't know. I don't. I don't really think Renera is cold enough to just like murder them you know yeah at least not yet it's sad because i feel like they've both been pushed to the point where i could see them both like i could see rhaenyra killing a aegon aegon and the point to like yeah i just could see it honestly yeah i can i can see it especially with you know they just despise each other Mm -hmm. (laughs) like yeah and it sucks because i feel like if fucking Otto wouldn't have put that idea in Allison's head, like, there wouldn't have been a conflict, really. Yeah. Because, like, Renera before all this shit, I don't think would have ever, like, just killed Aegon just because he exists. Yeah. It's all fucking Otto's fault. Everything. Everything is Otto's fault. It really is. TBH. Yeah. I fucking hate Otto. Yeah. Evil. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. And also, I feel like the other problem with this show right now is there's not a lot of characters, and we also keep killing them. (laughs) And they don't hit as well as I want them to. Yeah. Like, we literally just killed three characters in this episode. Yeah. I mean, I really liked the Hand of the King, so that's the one that makes me sad. Yeah. He was the one, the only one of the three this episode, where I was like, ah, damn. See, I liked them all. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I liked them, but, like, the Hand of the King dying was the one where I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Because I really liked him, because he actually had, like, fucking integrity. Yeah. It fucking sucked, too, because, um, I don't I don't know her name. Uh. The Laner's sister. Fuck, what was her but, name? But, like, we finally get to see her on a dragon. We finally get to see her as, like, a character other than just, like, a, like, for, like, a minute. Yeah. And, like, a marriage proposal. Yeah. And then she, we get to see her on the coolest dragon in Westeros, and then the biggest motherfucker I've ever seen, and then she dies. I like the way they did. I like how that ended rather than the same way as yeah, the yeah. opening episode. Yeah, I'm glad she went and, and immolated herself. Yeah, Game of Thrones pilots because they call this a soft pilot in the end show because like everything reset pretty much not reset but like all the new actors are. Like, New 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 trope. Birthing deaths. <laughs> Every first episode. Episode one of season two. Birthing death. I mean, that's just how every uh, woman died in like medieval times. Yeah. The 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 death percentage during birth was absurd. <laughs> so it is accurate. True. Yeah, I feel like her. I feel like her only real purpose is to give Damon motivation to go back to Westeros. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was her kind of purpose. And to get probably the Valerians back, be- like, fully behind. Um, Damon? That, like, Damon and Renera. Like, yeah. Behind them as, like, the succeeding and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her fucking dragon was so cool. I know, he, he fucking... Huge! Thick head. <laughs> Massive. I don't remember its name, though. Uh, Papa Poutine? Vagar? Was Vagar, it Vagar? Vagar. Yeah, he was... God damn. Yeah. But I feel like all my problems will not will go away once the show goes on. Because, like, it's hard... Maybe I'm just conflicted because I like... I genuinely like Allison... And Rhaenyra a lot. Yeah. Like, I had this problem the first time I watched Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Because it was like, I'm, wa- I, I'm obviously I like Doctor Strange, I'm a root for him, but he's fighting Wanda. <laughs> and I'm like, I love both of these. One greatly more than the other. But one's the bad guy. Isn't that a good thing, though? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like... It leaves you conflicted. Yeah, because I'll. Because the difference there is, though, I have 
empathy for Doctor Strange, but I also had deep empathy for Wanda. I don't have empathy for anyone in this show. <laughs> Honestly, the only person I have empathy for is Viserys, because he's just doing his best, and he's fucking <laughs> dying, like... Yeah, I feel like I still have a little bit of empathy well, yeah, for... Yeah, I have empathy for Allison. Yeah. I, a little, yeah, but, like, not to the same levels as... And also, I feel like Allison's empathy is going to wear thin. Yeah. Uh, no, it's because she's uh, it's because she's on that weird, like, I can't believe that's not the king's kids bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you were out of pocket for this shit. Like, it, but there's, you gotta be a little empathetic because, like, she, she did her duty, so now she's like, I got forced into this life, and I had to do this bullshit. Yeah. And now she's, like, trying to hold... Renair to that standard, even though, like, she didn't deserve that. So yeah. it's, like, all fucked. Yeah. It, that's the thing, is neither of them deserved what they got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't need... Same with Chris and Cole. He deserved to be in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you're right. Yeah, him training the fucking kids. Right. When he was training them, and he was just like, Aegon, kill that other kid. <laughs> fucking kill him. <laughs> like... It's- that was such like that was, he he felt like Palpatine in that yeah. scene. I really hope we get some flashbacks of like what it was like like in those ten years like after everything happened. Like I don't know. Yeah, because like that's a lot. This time jump, this, all the time jumps are like I'm like okay, but this one's like the one that's like. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. This yeah, that's kind of a lot. Like, there's a lot to fill in. A lot of kids. A lot of kids. My favorite, Eamon. because <laughs> I feel bad for him. He's just like I have empathy for him. Yeah, I have him. empathy for him. He just looks miserable all the fucking time. I like, I mean, can you blame him? Imagine the inferiority complex of you being the one kid, the one boy without a dragon. Yeah. Assuming that maybe their daughter doesn't have a dragon. I it's not clear. I think they were talking about of the four boy children. Yeah. When they were like they're like you're the one without the dragon. I don't know if they were counting I don't know if they're counting daughter's the girl. name I forgot. Because they probably said once and she was in the show for two seconds. Yeah, I feel like uh <laughs> you know what would be funny if she ends up being just like um the middle child of Cersei and Jamie, the girl that her oh, only yeah. plot point was to be sent to Dorne. Yeah, I f- honestly no. I f- based <laughs> based on Olivia Cook, the actress who plays old Allison, I saw a, like a headline where she's like, "Allison's kids are fucking weird, <laughs> fucking wild." Yeah, you have Aegon who was doing his best Homelander impression, uh, jerking off to the city. Yeah. Uh, you have Aemond who just wants to die, yeah. <laughs> and then the girl. He's got big school shooter energy. Right now. <laughs> I would say more big uh, bathtub full of toaster energy. Yeah. And then the daughter seems to be obsessed with like bugs. Yeah, she was in her own little world that scene. Yeah. I think I th- you know I think all their kids are uh, literally neurodivergent and a minor. Yeah. Except Aegon, he's a goon. <laughs> he's just a fucking. He's like an adult. <laughs> yeah. He's really just like an edgy teenager. Well, because he was spoiled. Yeah. Because Alicent was just, like, giving him everything he wanted. Because he's like, no, you need to be the king, so you got to get everything you want. Mm-hmm. Honestly, we're just lucky he didn't turn out like Joffrey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd, any- rather, I'd rather jerk off in front of the city than end up like Joffrey, you know? Yeah, I don't think any of them will be as bad as Joffrey. But I don't think any of them will be as innocent or normal as... Tommen? Tommen and... I forgot the daughter's name. Yeah, well, she was in like four episodes. <laughs> yeah. The unimportant one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They definitely all seem to be a little... I mean, I feel like Eamon could be weird if he didn't want to die. Or like he could be not weird. If he wasn't uh, about to jump off a cliff. Yeah. Like, da- like, how did that happen where he didn't get a fucking dragon? No, like... um. I need to look up names. Like um, Damon's wife said, yeah. they just don't hatch sometimes. And she didn't, hers didn't hatch till she was 15. That's why it was a big fucker. Right? 
That shit grew in the womb, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, and I bet the, the her daughter that doesn't have a dragon is going to get her mom's dragon, the big boy. Yeah, probably. I, that's what I would assume is going to happen. Yeah, someone's going to have to take that dragon. Someone's going to have to take him. <laughs> Lena. It's Lena and Lena. Lena. How do I not remember that? Christ. <laughs> It's funny that, yeah. It's funny that the Lannister guy was still at the table. I also find it funny that um, Rhaenyra's first two sons have, like, t- very Targaryen names, but they have shortened, like, normal names. Oh, well, yeah, what are they? Like, names? it was, like, Jaceris, but they just call him Jace. Yeah. And then I don't know the other kid's full name, but they just call him Luke. Luceris? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was, like, like Luce- Luceris or something. Yeah. Wait, what was the boy's name? Jaharis? Or it was like a... Jaceris. Jaceris. And, and then they just call him Jace. Yeah. The oldest one. The one that they wanted to cousin marry again. <laughs> <laughs> I love how genetics works in Game of Thrones. Yeah? Your hair color is determined exclusively by lineage and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's, there's no mistakes. Everyone's hair color is... Perfectly because of their father. Well, to be fair, I think Allison bucks that trend. She's the one with, like, reddish hair. No, but they take after their father. But Otto has, like, normal hair. Like, black hair. Oh, yeah. Maybe his hair used to be red. Like even in, his, what, in his youth. Like, no, it's like, no matter what, you're getting whatever... whatever you, it's kind of funny, but it's like, what family are you? Are you an important family? Okay, Ned and Catelyn, red hair and black hair, every kid black hair. And Except then, for Sansa. That's true. Okay, never mind. That's bucking the trend. My theory just went out the window because Sansa exists. Yeah. Okay. And, and, okay. San, and I feel like Sansa had red hair mostly so that Littlefinger could simp over her. Yeah. <laughs> TBH. <laughs> so it really it is. It's the royal families. Is what it is. That's where your hair color is determined purely by your father. Yeah. <laughs> only, only for the queen. Only for the queen. Cersei, all her kids, blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever the queen's fucking, all the hair color. Renera, all black, all brown. Yeah. I also find that it was, like, really mean when Allison was like, you want to marry my daughter to those plain-looking boys? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Honestly, though, I I wanted a second for that. Like, I, that, that whole, that whole I mean, arranged like- marriage was all... That was all bad from the jump. No, yeah, but that's not the reason why I would have denied it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're ugly. <laughs> that's her way of saying they're not Lanors without saying they're not Lanors. They're not Targaryens. Yeah. Or full... Well, they are Targaryens. Well, yeah, they're Targaryens because Rhaenyra's a Targaryen. I get... Yeah, I guess just the... Con- it, it's... Yeah, the conflict is just that it was out of wedlock. Right. Who's cheating, even though both parties were okay with it. <laughs> so, never mind. I was going to say something, but it might be future spoilers. Okay. But don't say it. No. Speaking of uh, weirdos. Future spoilers. Speaking of weirdos. Laris. Laris. Yeah. Fucking. I, I thought he was starting, like, the... Like the like the well, like, Varys had the little birds. Who yeah, would, like, like the network. The network who would bring him information, but no, you got you got you got a, like a death squad. Like <laughs> you're gonna go do you're gonna do crimes for me. And you know why they cut out their tongues, right? So they can't talk. Yeah. So even if they were like tortured, they would never share who told them to do that because they can't. Because they can't. <laughs> and they probably didn't know how to write. <laughs> Yeah, probably not. I don't think many people, like many commoners in Westeros, know how to write. Right? So it was literally just to make them completely incapable of ratting him out. I'm ch- okay. Let's, we gotta talk. Let's talk about Laris. 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 Low layer, layer. What the fuck's his motivation? What does he want? Blackmail. To blackmail the queen? Yeah, because now he's like, well, shit. You know, if but she didn't ask him to do it. It doesn't matter. He did it, and she wanted it, and she's going to gain from it. Yeah, but who's... That's all you need to make it look like she asked. How did... Wait, she wanted... 
She didn't want them to die. No, but he could make it look like she did. I mean... She's the only one who gains from it. I mean, Rhaenyra could make it look like those kids were actually Laenors, but, like, (laughs) you could try, but that would mean people gonna believe you, you know? Like, no, well, I think... Who's this man? It's literally, because he was like, I think you'll pay me back when, when the time is right and stuff like that. Like, he's laying down the chips, like, look at all these ways I've helped you. He's just trying to get in good. Like, I, is he banking that she's going to be the ruler? Or just that she's going to give him rewards through Aegon when Aegon's ruling? Probably. Maybe he wants... Maybe she's like... It's... I'm so confused. With, like, because, like... He had, like... He was also like... But, like, his judgment was impaired. But, like... What do you want? To be handed the king to Aegon? But your judgment's impaired. Like... No, yeah. Like... He, he's just picking a side. Yeah. It's weird. He's picking a side trying, and, and being intense about it. Yeah. I mean, he's, it, yeah, it is, I feel like it's a measure of, like, look at what I did to get you to get this victory sort of thing, so that he can just get whatever the fuck he wants after. Yeah. Weird. And he killed his father and brother to do it. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> then burned down Holler Hall. Ho- Heron Hall. Heron Hall. We got tonight, we get to see, we got to see normal Heron Hall. For, like, three seconds. For, like, three seconds before a burn. Before they got destroyed. Yeah. I love how it, like a hundred years passed and we're like, we're not going to rebuild it. No. They don't have the money for that. I mean, like, like no one like with money claimed the land and like, we're going to rebuild it. No. I and mean, called it, and call it Aaron Hall instead of Aaron <laughs> Hall, you know? Well, like Lara said, people think it's cursed. Yeah. So I would assume that was at least part of the reason why. It is cursed. Remember when Arya was hiding in it and she was right next to John and Bran or whatever and she didn't meet them? Nobody nobody took the nobody took that castle until Tywin moved in. Yeah. He didn't believe he didn't believe in no curses. No, not Arya. Bran hidden up here in Hall. I thought it was Arya that hid in there. I don't remember, honestly. But no, all three weren't intertwined together anyway. I'm pretty well, all I remember was John was nearby. That was at Craster's Keep. Oh, what am I thinking of? No, oh, the, the Bran one? When Bran and John were, like, right next to each other but didn't meet? Yeah. That was at right. Craster's Keep. Okay. The area one was at Heron Hall. That was beyond the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like how Damon just sulked for a decade. I mean, can you blame him? He lost Renara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he just he lost his true love. Yeah. Now it'll be awkward if he tries to go back in. No, it's not going to be awkward. It's going to be celebrated by many outlines. <laughs> no, no. You are not prepared for Renara or Demet Minara. Like not as in like the what the fans want, but as in what the storyline holds. Uh, I don't. I don't want it. Okay, John. I don't want it. I don't want it. That was what Aegon was doing this episode. <laughs> I don't want it. He's like, he's like, I'm not even like, he's just like, I'm not even the successor anyway. Like, why do I care? Why, why don't I just not challenge her then? Yeah. <laughs> like, why don't I just like feel loyalty to her? Why don't I just like jerk off in front of my window? That is so funny. <laughs> he's kind, he's kind of vaguely like stoner esque. They had to they had to give us the moment of him being psychotic, but not just like I'm in, a, in an edgy teen way, like just not caring. There's like, oh, this guy's there's some, there's a screw loose. Well, I wouldn't even say that. The, I mean, if anything, him not wanting to be king is the smartest thing. No, yeah, but like we got daughter in her own little world. We got very depressed kid because he doesn't have a dragon, <laughs> and then we got. Kid who just doesn't give a shit about anything. Well, if any, you know, I would say a little bit of a weird quality was how viciously he was trying to beat up Jace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. I mean, like, I feel like if I was a dumb kid and I lived that high up in a castle, I would probably do the same thing. You probably think you're a god. Yeah. You can't be... I mean, if I was, like, how old he? 16? Yeah, he looks, like, relatively older. Yeah. 
I mean, I feel like that's, you know, one of the one of the many, 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 many problems with monarchies is it's really difficult to raise, like, a prince or princess and have them not become uh, just completely full of themselves. Yeah. And just, like, monsters. That just because, like, the system... I don't even... That doesn't even count for the inbreeding. Yeah. No, yeah. Ax- yeah. Yeah. That's without even the, the royal specific birth defects that they have. Yeah. Wild. Fucking truly wild. I like that Renera's just going to move into the castle that we saw Danny in. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> like where the queens belong. <laughs> they just always hold that castle. Yeah. With the cool walkway. Wasn't it, like, kind of really intense of just, like, opening or, like, older in era having a child? Like, what the fuck? We're, we're jumping right in. We're, we're jumping right into it. And I'm, also, like, I didn't have empathy for Allison in this episode because, like, y'all making this woman walk all the way up there after you. Like, what do you need to see the kid for? Y'all haven't been friends in years. Uh, well, you it's, know? it's because she wanted to see if it was a bastard. Yeah. I, I know why she did but, like... <laughs> But even she didn't seem so. Sur- even she seemed surprised that Renera walked the whole way there. <laughs> I made a mistake of opening up Twitter while we're recording. Wow! In just the first tweet, the common people below Aegon's window. Oh my god! And just a person walking down the street with cum all over their face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting it to be. Okay, get off Twitter. We're in the middle of a fucking video. But I gotta see all the the Game of Thrones tweets. House of the Dragon. (laughs) Here's a question. Here's a tweet from Out of Context House of the Dragon. Raises a question for the pot. Ready? Okay. How did Harwin get expelled from the City Watch for throwing a couple punches, but Sir Question got no consequences for killing a man at a wedding? No, yeah, exactly. That's fucking crazy, though. Well, I mean, you know, it's the difference between commander of the City Watch and a member of the King's Guard, who also got pardoned by the Queen. Yeah. Like, and if Renera tried to pardon her baby daddy, that would just immediately make her guilty. Uh, but also, do you know how all this also happened? Like, um, Lars said, he, um, his dad's too proud. Yeah. And he's like, we got, we, this is like, he takes his oath and everything very seriously. But he's a good man. Talk about a man with true integrity. Immediately notices, like, the conflict and interest and is just like, I gotta retire. Is he our Ned Stark? We don't love him as much, nearly no. as much as Ned, but, like, he's doing right and gets killed. He has the... Int- yeah, he goes through the actions of Ned. We just don't see him being a good-ass dad. <laughs> no, I think he's being a good dad. Holy no, his like... Kids a- well, he no, raised but- one hell of a fucked up son. No, I'm saying we didn't see as much of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we had a lot of time of Ned being, like, a really good dad. Yeah. And we don't... Yeah. So, like, comparatively, yeah. No, no, he's not even nearly as lovable. Like, but he's the same, like, role. He was, like... Uh, he generally felt like the only good person in Westeros. The two Hands of the Kings that were, like, actually, like, good people, both yeah. were killed through bullshit. Um, here's a hot take. Both were killed by the Queen. I feel like, as... As much as we want, and like they want the hand of the king to be partial and unbiased and serve the realm, I th- honestly all they need to do is serve the king. Fuck the realm. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't like like Ned. I love Ned. I love all, of them, but like I'd rather have a fucking impartial. Well, maybe I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. Well, I, th- my, 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 my idea is getting lost in my head as I say it. The thing is, you need, like, an impartial one to know how to rule the best. Mm-hmm. And the problem is, is, like, I feel like the impartialness isn't even necessarily for that, but it's impartialness because you don't want them trying to get more power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that's really the main conflict. True. Like, they can be completely partial on any other issue. It's just when they're... When they're like fucking, as long as they're not trying to get their shit on the side too, you know. When they're like auto fucking high power, you know that's where you run into problems because yeah. he's just trying to ascend. Even though, like, I don't even get he doesn't get anything. Otto doesn't get anything out of this. Aegon is a Targaryen. 
No, but he's also a high tower. Yeah, but no one's going to remember him as a high tower. They're yeah. going to know him as a Targaryen. I know. So I don't know why he cares that much. Because all all that man has in this world is pride, even if it's just a little. Yeah, I I I get that's what it definitely is at the end of the day. But just like. I can at least have that little, you know, no one's going to know that you were the fucking granddad of Aegon, even if he did become king. Yeah, they'll know you as the guy who got fucking kicked out of being handed the king and some mysteriously came back. That's shady. <laughs> That's yeah. shady. It's a little shady. I I do really think Allison is going to kill uh, Viserys. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. I feel like she's going to kill him. Or Larys is going to do it. Oh, honestly, that, that too. But I could I could see Ellison just like suffocating him with a pillow. Yeah, he which died peacefully be, in his sleep. Which would then be so wild that he has been diseased for a decade, but then died from being murdered, not from his disease. That makes me almost feel like that's definitely gonna happen. Like that is so wild. I like, homie don't even got an arm anymore. His whole arm is gone. Honestly, I'm rooting for it because I'm tired of seeing him already after this one episode <laughs> being all like. To crap, crap it and shit. I'm like, I don't need this. It like, yeah, I do. I feel bad for Viserys. Yeah, he's just trying. He's just trying. He just wanted to do something right by his daughter, and everyone hates him for it. Mm-hmm. And then his daughter's not making it easy. <laughs> Neither is his wife. Neither is his wife. Like, doesn't really love him. Yeah. Like, Viserys really is just... Uh, they get him played from every corner while he's just trying to do his best for the kingdom. Yeah, and then his... Should've, you just, just should have let Damon be heir. He'll fix everything. <laughs> his only, like, true impartial helper died. Mm-hmm. The only one who genuinely had, like, care for the realm. Yeah. Other than him. And now, now he has to go back to Otto. Yuck. Because the king has no friends. <laughs> you know what would be wild? Hmm. If Viserys was just like, not nah, Damon's my hand. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, wait, wait. Speaking of Damon. What the fuck was his fit this episode? <laughs> this is the most out of Damon fit I've seen in the episode. I like the fit, but like, it was fucking. It was like, damn, Damon, you got, you got fucking. Kind of drippy. Drippy, but like, you got like. You're a fat cat. You're just sitting on your riches now. You're not, like, out there being a warrior, but, like, without actually being fat. I mean, that's what it's symbolic of. It's him giving up. Mm -hmm. Interesting that he didn't get fat during all those years. I mean... He did enough dragon riding shows. I mean, I don't think that loses weight, but... (laughs) I don't think riding a dragon keeps you in shape. I mean... I could could see a world... Does horse riding... Burn calories. Yeah. I really hope he raises, like, one of his daughters to be, like... Like, I hope the other daughter who didn't get a dragon gets his gets their, her mom's dragon, but becomes, like, Brienne. Just, like, a fucking badass <laughs> warrior. But he was, like, neglecting her. Yeah. Can't do that now. <laughs> well, he can. Well, I mean, I think he kind of... And honestly, based on the... Preview for the next episode. It really does. I feel like he is purely based on the fact that he's probably bringing them back to Driftmark, not because for two reasons: one selfish, one non-selfish. The selfish reason so he doesn't have to raise them <laughs> and can have like the like Lainor and like the dad and Renair. I always forget his wife's name. The uh, the princess that could almost almost would have been queen. Oh, but, um, Renaris. Was the one. Rhaenyra. The, the queen yeah. that never was. I, every time we say Rhaenyra, it always fucks with me with Rhaenyra. No, Rhaenyra is Yeah, I know, I know. And then also, number one, to honor his wife's wishes yeah. of them being raised in Driftmark. Because that's what you I wanted. think it's very selfish, but also very unselfish. It's one of those nice situations where you can do it both for selfish reasons and for non-selfish reasons. Yeah, kind of a perfect, uh, kind of a perfect situation to end up in. And guess, and do what makes it even better. Guess who's there? The woman he loves, Rhaenyra. <laughs> well, she's a well. Isn't he taking them to Driftmark, not Dragonstone? That is true. That's a different castle. Maybe I, I used to saw them all together, but it was probably for 
Lena's wedding. I mean, funeral. <laughs> yeah, her wedding. Lena. Her wedding with death. Maybe, yeah. So, yeah, maybe he just, yeah. I would assume that that's the wedding, but also I could see him just the going. The wedding? Do, or, ah, see, I you got you fucked fuck me up. up. <laughs> no, I could see him just, like, he leaves his kids at Driftmark, and then he just goes to be with Renera. <laughs> Let's raise a real Targaryen. Yeah, fucking. Yo, then there would be another, like, heir. What do you mean? You would have another, like, contention for the heir. Like, you would have Rhaenyra, you would have Aegon, and then you would have, like, Rhaenyra and uh, Daemon's kid being in contention with Jace when Rhaenyra becomes queen. (laughs) Like, one's a bastard and is older, but the other one would be a true Targaryen. Pure blood. Pure blood. Very pure blood. Uh, That's probably not to like season two or three, though. We don't have to worry about that until then. Knowing that the Targaryens uh, were pretty much destroyed a lot because of incest, because they went mad from it, Makes me so sad because that just makes me certain that Damon and Renera are gonna have kids, and I don't like that. I know. Yeah, you know. If they do, yeah, I don't, and I really hope it doesn't happen because I don't, I don't want it. But I, I, it's going to. I know they were lost to incest, and that's why they're. Like, like, all I gotta say is like what Thanos said. Before he snapped his fingers. <laughs> it's inevitable. He is inevitable. <laughs> Damon is inevitable. <laughs> well, finally. Oh, wait. We just realized his cock does work. Holy shit! We learned five episodes in Damon's cock works. They have to be from Valyria. <laughs> <laughs> Only the purest of blood. <laughs> He's a true royal. Yes. I can't believe I just pieced that together. Like, holy shit. That's he at funny. least, bare minimum, he nutted three times. Whoa. Bare minimum. He finished three times. That's crazy. I'm proud of him. I mean... <laughs> I'm proud of him. His cock works. Yeah. Good on him. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups for, for coming. Oh my god. But yeah, I think we covered a lot of it. Yeah. We had a good discussion, I thought. That was a good one. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Any last words? Any... Dakotuses. I want to see a dragon fight. Wow, you're... I'm thinking, because I feel like all the dragons that are fightable are going to be teamed together. No, yeah, but that... I I just... I mean, Aegon has a dragon, but I don't know how big it is. I'm not saying it needs to make sense. I'm just saying I want to see dragons fight. No, we will. I want to see, like, like I feel like uh, Vagar, the big one, he would be like a raid boss, and the other dragons would have to, like, team up on him. He is the final boss of Monster Hunter World, you know? He is the final boss of dragons. <laughs> Huge. Yeah. That's my closing thought. Yes. So, tell us what y'all thought of this episode. We had a good discussion, even though I came in very critical. <laughs> even though, like, it wasn't a bad episode. I was just I was just worried. But like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Stay tuned for more Game of Thrones content. And until next time, is Allison justified?